Mosquitoes are thriving worldwide. They have made themselves at home in more regions than ever before. The viruses they carry are a growing threat. Over the next few decades, cases of dengue, Zika, chikungunya, yellow fever, and other mosquito-borne viruses are expected to climb. Many factors drive the escalation of this threat. Warmer and wetter weather from climate change will speed up mosquito and virus life cycles. Urbanization will yield ample breeding habitats, especially for the dengue mosquito, Aedes aegypti. And as the world grows increasingly interconnected, mosquitoes and viruses can easily hitch a ride, kick off fresh chains of transmission elsewhere. Here in tropical, urban Singapore, we face these challenges every day. 2020 saw our largest dengue outbreak to date, with more than 35,000 cases and 32 deaths. Tackling this shared global threat requires collective, concerted efforts. The WHO's Global Arbovirus Initiative, which aims to strengthen mosquito-borne disease control programs internationally, is timely and much needed. The initiative's focus on intersectoral approaches Prevention and preparedness and innovation resonate strongly with us in Singapore. The National Environment Agency has built our dengue control program around these core principles. Good environmental management to prevent breeding is the cornerstone of our program. Strong partnerships across the public, private and people sectors have been key for us to effect these wide-ranging measures at scale. Mobilisation of communities has had a powerful multiplier effect against mosquito breeding in homes and neighbourhoods. To monitor risk and anticipate outbreaks, we track dengue cases, viruses and their vehicle of transmission, the mosquito. This brevi trap is one of more than 70,000 in our island-wide surveillance network. You'll find them in every block of high-rise public housing. The data they gather on mosquito populations helps us take early action to prevent or mitigate outbreaks. This includes keeping communities informed so that they too can stay vigilant. Given the challenges ahead, business as usual is not an option. We have invested heavily into research and innovation to enhance our control programs. Advanced modelling capabilities help us forecast disease risk and make much better sense of an uncertain future. With new surveillance tools, can keep tabs on emerging potential vectors. Our flagship program is the Project Wubakia, which interestingly enough involves the release of mosquitoes in order to reduce mosquito population numbers. This paradox hinges on the fascinating feature of male Wubakia carrying mosquitoes. When they mate with wild females that don't carry Wubakia, their eggs don't hatch. Male Wubakia mosquito releases have suppressed dengue mosquito populations in our study sites by up to 98%. In sites with at least a year of releases, dengue cases have fallen by up to 88%. As we expand releases and collect more data, we hope to contribute to the global inventory of novel solutions. We will continue to work with the international community to build resilience against arboviruses.